next tonight. A warning that flooding in the Calder Valley could become even more frequent if climate change continues. The Met Office has shared data with tonight's Panorama programme. Their projections suggest heavy rainfall which triggers flash flooding could double if greenhouse gas emissions keep rising. In February this year, hundreds of homes and businesses were devastated after the river Calder burst its banks. Ebi Jayola reports. Flooded for the third time in eight years. This was the Calder Valley in February after heavy rainfall overwhelmed the community. Matt Bell runs a bar in Hebden Bridge. I'll show you where the water got to actually. We've marked it on the wall, so the water got to this kind of a level. In 90 minutes it went from floor level to chest high and the water just kept coming and coming and coming. So we got ourselves onto bar stools and we were stood on there, the water lapping around our feet, watching things float by, casks, all sorts of things. And we were stuck there for a matter of hours. Work is ongoing in the Calder Valley to improve flood defences. The Environment Agency have spent £40 million on the Mytham Road Flood Alleviation Scheme, which should better protect around 400 homes and businesses. They've also employed an independent consultant to review the 2020 flood event, and they should report back later this month. As the valley recovers from being repeatedly inundated, the Met Office is warning that if global greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise, we could see much more extreme weather. Intense rainfall which triggers flash flooding in places like Mytham Road could almost double by the 2070s. We get this shift towards more extreme events, so more frequent and intense extremes, so heavier rainfall when it occurs. So these are big changes in rainfall patterns that we'd expect from Mytham Road. That is going to have big implications for the extent to which we might expect increases in flooding. For those who live and work in the area, any talk of increased flooding is a concern. People do get worried and they get anxious and they just feel that anxiety every time it rains. Even if it's a small amount of rain, it's that, it's that worry that what if. At the moment it does feel like it's more intense and the gaps between flooding are quite short. But more scenes like these are not a certainty. The Met Office is only making projections, not forecasts. If, globally, there's success in reducing greenhouse gas levels, then we might not see such extreme weather. Abby Jayola, BBC Look North, Mytham Road. Let's chat in more detail with Paul. Paul, these are just projections from the Met Office, yep. but as the people in the Calder Valley will know, flooding can be really devastating. It's worrying. Well, I've had three big floods since 2000, and I've just looked at some of the extremes we've had over the last few years. Uh, February 2019, the warmest on record. Then February 2020, the wettest on record. Sheffield Western Park have had the three wettest autumns all since 2000 on a data set that goes back to 1882. Um, so we've had a number of extremes in the last few years. So you've seen the details of, this, of these projections. Tell us more about it. Uh, they make for sobering reading, actually. This is uh, a Met Office high-resolution projection, and they can home in on towns like Mythe and Royd and the Calder Valley. And this assumes that greenhouse gases continue to rise at the current rate. And, and the, the statistic that stuck out for me, uh, winter projections, daily rainfall in winter extremes like on Boxing Day 2015, could increase by up to 30%. What that means is that for somewhere like Mytham Royd, uh, a normal extreme rainfall event would be 55 millimetres in a day. That would increase to 70 millimetres. Now, that's important because they've had three big floods since 2000, but they've had a number of near misses. And if you raise the rainfall rate to that extent, up by about 30%, that would mean the number of floods would also increase. So it's pretty sobering reading, not just for the Calder Valley, but these projections are for the river sources of, of many rivers across Yorkshire. And, uh, you know, as I say, it's, it's uh, pretty gloomy reading. 